All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Chris's Sports Corner. Hope everybody's having a great, great, great uh, Saturday. Um, hope everybody doing the things that we know we need to be doing to be successful as um, far as staying healthy and just in life in general, man. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to do this video today. Um, you know, I'm still going through going through the, the draft pick for the Baltimore Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys. Um, so Baltimore Ravens had quite a few draft picks in that third round. So I'm on the fourth guy now. Um, and that's tackle, um, a third round tack, tackle, Tyree Phillips. Um, Tyree Phillips, to me, is a... Um, a quality backup. I think he's going to be a good, he's a, he's a great backup, uh, a great backup. I think he got a potential to be a great backup, but I don't see him as the guy. Mainly, um, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, mainly because of the fact that he, 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 he got a slow start. Um, I think he started playing, um, football his senior year in high school. Um, he didn't really have a love for it. Um, and I, and I, you know, some, some people are just he they just have that size that you know you're like man you should play football and I think that's kind of what happened to him. His first love was music, you know. He was he was a big band geek. He loved a, he loved a band um making uh music uh listening to music of all sorts and being a part of music creation, which is 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 at the end of the day great for him. I mean, you know, whatever makes you happy, you know, that the each is on, but I think what happened with him is is he's such a big guy. We talking um, 340, I want to say 40 pounds, 44 pounds, um, 344 pounds, um, offensive lineman. And you got to remember that's, that, 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 that's pretty big. All right. Like if you're a Cowboy fan or, or you're a fan of offensive general, you remember the big Larry Allen, right? He, he was only 335. Now, again, these numbers are listed, you know, Things flush weight, but he was only uh, uh, 6'3", three, uh, six three three thirty five, and everybody looked at him as a monster. This guy's bigger than him. He's bigger than Tyron Smith, um, so he's just naturally a big guy. I would consider him like a a, a a a gentle giant. You know, when when you listen to him do interviews and stuff and talk about it, you know, he's just a a big guy who you know just had to had to learn to impose his will, right? Like, he talked about being very, very horrible the first time. Like, he started out on defense, and then he he, he went over to um, offense and, and was horrible at it at first until he said he he um, he got in his mind that, you know what, I got to attack. I got to be aggressive. I got, I'm the biggest person here. Why are people pushing me around? Now, this is all in high school. And so he kind of had to flip that switch on in his own head, Um to be more uh, dominant of an offensive lineman. Um, again, I, I, I'm going to make this very clear. I think he's a quality backup, and if I think if he got to come in and come in for a couple games, it could be really, really. Uh, it could be. He won't. You you won't see a major drop off in my opinion. Um, I think that he can hold. He could definitely hold his own. Hold his own for a couple games. I, I wouldn't say a 16 game season. I don't think he's at starter level just yet, but he can get there. He can get there, in my opinion. Now, some people may not see him getting to being a starter, but I think so. I just think that he's so late on a learning curve that it's like, mm, you know what I'm saying? It's like he ain't, he ain't got the knowledge just yet. Like he, he, when you watch his film, you still see him reaching, you know. And 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 sometimes I think that can get offensive. Well, I don't think I know that can get offensive tackles in trouble when you start to reach. You know, when you're when you're reaching rather than having great hand placement, you're reaching. That's that's grounds for a holding call or, or just a blown assignment, and and especially at the NFL level, I mean they're each were alive doing that kind of stuff. But um, again, I think I I think that giving proper coaching, um, and in a couple of years he could be a starter. I, I think I think he has the ability to do that, but I just think it's going to take time and. And nurturing a little bit for him. I don't see him just having a major impact out the gate. Listen, I could be totally wrong about that, but that's my opinion. Um, now, when you when you're watching him block, he 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 got great recovery, and I think this is a, a major asset for him. Like he can get get himself a little out of position, or as I said, start reaching. 
but he got a great ability to recover, which is which allows him to make up for you know initial like bad play initially. And so during his ability to recover, he norm he he know how to plant his foot, get back into position, and still buy the and get a court. Even if he missed it, this is the key thing too. Even if he misses the block, he know how to. He if he misses initially, he know how to get back between the defender and the quarterback, which is I think sometimes make up for for his initial you know wrong wrong moves. And he's a big guy. He's a big guy, so he covered a lot of real estate when he moving. And I think that that that's kind of key for him. That that's kind of key. So now now you know in an ideal world you you would want to say well don't miss the initial tackle or don't miss the initial block and you have to recover. I get it. I get it. I definitely get it. But at the same time, you know, again, I just think it's going to come with time. Like, you know, he, he don't have enough, you know, un just enough. You know, a lot of people that's been doing doing this, man, they spent their life doing it. And they and we got to remember, football ain't his first love. You know, it's it, he just be, he's a big guy who is is learning different things now. Um, I did like this. I'm a Cowboy fan. So he, um, he when they asked about, you know, what made you get into it? What made you start become a better blocker? He said he studied the Great Wall of Dallas. Now, say what you want to say about the Cowboys. For the most part, they, they, they are pretty good at drafting the offensive line. And, I mean, you got to remember, back in the days, the, the Great Wall of, of, of Dallas was just like, ugh. You know, it was just a, it was a bunch of misfit guys that, you know, wasn't, you know, sure fire Hall of Famers. Um, but just a group of guys that would just maul you. And they was like a mean group of guys that just wanted to come eat you alive. And, you know, him saying he studied them kind of, I think is what switched, switched, switch <laughs> the flip of the switch for him. It's what flipped the switch. Oh God, I'm all messed up. It's what flipped the switch for him. Um, and with that being said, it, it, he kind of studied them to see, all right, this is the way I got to play, you know. So it, it, it's like some people are not naturally aggressive. Like, they're just not. I don't think he was naturally aggressive. But then he realized, wait, this is the way I have to be if I want to play football. And, you know, ultimately football pays the bills. So I got to kind of be a lot more aggressive, a lot more angry, um, and as well as smart. And that, that, that's something he pointed out, too. He was like, you know, uh, defensive guy could just be, you know, just loose cannons. Well, offensive guys got to got to be aggressive but smart at the same time. The fact that he he understands that is very good. Um, he got great footwork, man. That's the one thing I say, and that's what allowed him to recover so well. Like he got very athletic feet for a big guy. Um, he know, and he he's very. He very cognizant of when to plant that foot and, and go the different direction, right? I'm watching this, uh, watching the one highlight where the guy literally beat him off the ball, but he knew he knew what a quarterback was going to be, and he had to use his footwork to position himself in a in a way to just buy the quarterback some more time and push this guy out the way. So, um, I thought that 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 was very interesting. And if you watch a lot of his film, you'll see that as well. He's one of those guys that's just going to move his. That's just going to utilize his feet and his athleticism for his side to his advantage. And sometimes when you don't have the technique perfect and you don't have the get off perfect, sometimes you got to rely on your God given ability. And I think that's kind of how he's been and kind of what he's been doing. Um, yeah, man, that, that, that's pretty much all I got as um, far as him. You know, and like I said, he can't get caught reaching. Um, and I just think that's going to come with a lot more time. But. When he do, he's one of those guys that if he can get up, once he get proper placement and, and get his hands on you, he can definitely cause some damage, um, meaning he can definitely take you out of a play. Now, he's not one of the guys that you're going to see that's just going to pancake a guy. Like, he, I just don't see much of that from him. And I, I think that just comes from not, you know, from from not being as aggressive. So like some people, for example, I use Lyle Collins. I think Lyle Collins is a guard. He should. He just mauls people for every opportunity he get. Well, this guy here is not. He's not a maul. He's big enough to be a mauler, but I just don't think that's in his nature. He just try to work on his his technique and his fundamentals. And and like I said, he's definitely a quality backup. A quality backup that can one day turn into a starter for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, it's it's a you need depth on that offensive line. That's the one thing 
that is, is very crucial when you got a, a, a young quarterback like Lamar and as well as the running game as you continue to build. Everything starts with the offensive line, and sometimes those guys go unnoticed, but they are the key. They are the key. They are the key. So with that being said, guys, that's my take on Phillip, on Tyree Phillips. Um, the third round pick for the Baltimore Ravens. Hey, I, th I think they got a good. I think they got a good backup that can eventually be a starter. So overall, that, that's how I feel about it. And I think it was a great pick to to add some depth to the line of, of the Baltimore Ravens. With that being said, guys, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, you guys be good, man.